lead assignment rules are useful whenever leads come into the system that you can go ahead and set based off certain criteria for that lead ownership to automatically transfer to a particular user or a queue. So for the example in this video, we're gonna be walking through based on the lead states, going ahead and automatically assigning to a East or West territory. So to go to lead assignment rules, we're gonna go back into Salesforce setup and in the quick find box, search for lead assignment, click on lead assignment rules, and I've already created the East slash West territory assignment. But if you want to create a new one, all you do would be, you know, enter the rule name here. And you wouldn't want to probably activate it right off the bat. Uh, you'd want to do it after you've set your uh, rules. Um, but so let's go ahead and click into the one that I've already created, East slash West territory assignment. And what this rule is doing is it looks at uh, states that are considered to be in the East territory. It looks at those first whenever a lead comes into the system. And then it also looks at Western states after it's evaluated this first rule entry and none of these states um, equal to be true for that lead that's coming. So let's dive a little bit deeper into this. Let's take a look at the order one action that's going to automatically assign it to the East Territory queue. So set the criteria for this rule. And what it's doing is it's looking at the lead state slash province. And it's going through each of these lines. And so Right now, it's looking at, in this line one, it's looking at the state abbreviations. Then it's looking at the states written out here in line two. And then because we hit a character limit in line two, we had to add a third row here that also looks at the states written out. And so we also added filter logic onto this rule. So it looks at line one, two, or three, and if any of those are met, then this rule equals true, and it's going to assign to the East Territory. Now, the reason why we want to do abbreviations and the states fully written out is just to make sure you know we're going ahead and you know crossing all of our, our dots and making sure that nothing slips through the cracks. Um, just because depending on the lead source that might be coming in, it, it could potentially the billing state could be an abbreviation or it could be fully written out. So first it's going to look at the East states and then it's going to move on to the second rule here, which looks at the West states. So here's the abbreviations and then here is the state's fully written out. And then with our filter logic, it's looking at one or two. If either one of these are true, then it's going to assign to the West Territory. So I'm going to go ahead and provide on the Forspot website a um, this Google Sheet here that's going to have all of the states broken out based off of East and West with the abbreviation and fully written out. And you can go ahead and make any adjustment that you, you want to it before you go ahead and upload it as a lead assignment rule. Um, you know, say you actually want to include Ohio in the West Territory because the West Territory might not get as much um, lead leads coming in as the the east coast and you want to make it fair for your sales reps or perhaps you want to you know break out the united states into four different regions west you know central whatever whatever you want so you're going to be able to find this on the four spot website in the description 
of this video and reach out in the comments if you have any questions.